The 3D printers have been printing 24 seven for the past few weeks, turning this into a bunch of these so I can assemble that. Let's get to it. Today's video, Rebels, marks episode four of the Droidica build journey. I'm so excited to have you all here with us. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend you check out previous episodes one, two, and three. I will link uh, episode one in particular in one of these corners. I still don't know yet. I'm still figuring all this stuff out. Um, and I will also throw links to all the other videos down in the description below. But moving on, Rebels, we have got our pieces for the upper body and shield deflectors. Uh, all printed up and ready to go. These parts of the upper body are some of the most detailed parts that are gonna be part of this. It's also laying the groundwork and foundation for some of the most iconic images of this droid, whether it be the cowl hood on top of the droid or the big boomsticks, as Droid Division calls them, uh, at the end of the hands. So let's get right into it. Before we dive in Rebels, I have something really important I want to say. Building this Droidica is so much more than the parts or even the process going into it. It's really the people that have been here to support me through this entire process. I want to actually extend a thank you to all my friends, all my family uh, for being my biggest cheerleaders through this entire thing and obviously I want to thank every single one of my subscribers. Um, you guys have been absolutely amazing coming out of the woodwork, supporting this build, giving me all sorts of great comments. Constructive criticism is absolutely welcome here. I, I applaud that really. Uh, it helps me out and, and it, it's great. This build is definitely financially taxing. I'm not sponsored by a corporate conglomerate. I'm not doing this for profit, nothing. I'm doing this because I've wanted to do a Droidica build for as soon as I saw it really. And as soon as I got my hands on a 3D printer, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Obviously, then that started this great series on YouTube, brought you guys along for the journey. I just love sharing this whole process with all of you. Really, I'm just a big nerd who's obsessed with Star Wars and 3D printing. I wanted to learn more about 3D printing, the software, the 3D prints themselves, how, how to get a, a nice clean looking print. So with something like this, it was perfect for somebody like me. Diving head first, learning everything, making mistakes. It happens, guys. Even the best people out there make mistakes. It's normal, it's human. Um, we can't shy away from that stuff. I made mistakes on, this, on these prints here this week again, and I'm gonna showcase those to you. There's no reason to hide that. This is a big learning experience for me, but it's a really fun learning experience. And just wait until we get farther in and start painting and filling and whole nine yards. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. I really want you guys here for the ride. So if you feel so inclined, please share this with friends, family. Let's grow this little, little rebellion that's here in my cold garage right now because it's dead middle of winter here in Fargo, North Dakota. All right, so here we have a couple pieces of our upper body. As you can see, not the most perfect prints on the bottom. Now this is no fault of the printers, no fault of slicing, no fault of the files themselves. It actually is 100% my fault. So let me get this here. So as you may remember from last week's video, the spine had some warpage on where it actually rested on the build plate. Now I was researching how to actually 
remedy this issue and I uh, discovered rafting. Now, for those of you that don't know rafting, it actually builds, uh, well, like a raft underneath the actual build plate. So that's why we have these here on even over these holes here. So I gotta cut these out, sand this down, make it nice and smooth, not a big deal. Rafting is for more thin joints. And I also only did one layer here. Um, and, and on this one too, that made it a real pain in the butt. My fingers still hurt from trying to peel this stuff off. So, so yeah, uh, lesson learned guys only do rafting on very, very thin parts. I have since changed my settings, uh, to help parts like the spine, not warp. Uh, so cooling settings, not be, not cooling so much warping actually comes from the pieces cooling too fast. So as you can see here, raft is on here. We got to take that off. Not a huge deal. We'll get that taken care of. No worries. All right. So this goes here. This goes there. Hello there. As always, everyone, I am documenting this Droidica build from start to finish. I'm glad you stopped by here. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, share with your fellow Star Wars fan, and yeah, we'll get this finished together. I, I gotta get back to assembling now. And here she is, guys, in all her glory. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I gotta be honest with you, this is not my first reaction to this. I actually recorded my first reaction to it. I'll kind of overlay it here, but I lost all the audio for that and it just ripped my heart out. So, um, but no, here we are with the finished product for this week at least, guys. Keep in mind, this is all just a dry fit. This is not glued together, it's not sealed, nothing like that. But this is way <laughs> bigger than I even anticipated. Um, every week it just seems like it gets more and more real for me, which is absolutely phenomenal. It's getting really quite emotional for me, I'm not gonna lie, it, in the best way possible. It's just such a dream come true and I'm so glad to have you guys here with me for it. So um, but yeah, let's, let's get right to the outro guys and uh, close this out. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right guys, so here's the finished product as I already showcased before. Um, these pieces here, I haven't sanded them down yet or anything. So they're, they're not on there yet, but they will be, trust me. We're gonna get this all taken care of, no worries. <laughs> I, I still just can't. Uh, can't express how excited I am about this build, guys, really. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this week's progress. If you enjoyed this week's progress, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Please share with a fellow Star Wars fan. And as always, Rebels, keep dreaming, keep building, and until next time, always remember, rebellions are built on creativity.